this is called the Digital Citizenship Project. Um, I realized that our students at the University of Michigan, we were talking about digital citizenship and teaching digital citizenship, but we weren't actually doing uh, the act of working with students on what it means to be safe and responsible and respectful online. So we partnered with Scarlet Middle School and made kind of a win-win project where our student teaching interns get the hands-on experience of being able to work with middle school students and being able to talk to them about digital citizenship. I, as a student, am learning about the different ways I can incorporate lessons with technology, but this is more teaching students how to reflect back on technology. So when they're using Facebook, when they are using apps on their phones, how are they representing themselves? and what are they saying, what are they putting out there that actually reflects them. What we're really trying to get at is this, this core idea of empathy online and ways that the students can really put themselves in other people's position and see the world through other people's eyes. Probably the biggest lesson I've learned is to think about how other people feel before I say or post something. Uh, even though like it might be funny to other people or it might not seem offensive, it can be offensive in many different ways. How we behave online can have big implications for ourselves. So here we're getting a chance to try it out before it really is the real deal and we have social implications for how we behave online. What I really appreciate about this class is they give us we do use the technology, but then we're challenged to think critically about if the technology is helpful in the classroom or worth using. I would say I was an anti-technology person in my own life. I don't like using technology very much, um, but with Liz's course, I've learned to look at technology in a different light. So using computers and iPads and everything, those are just tools in your tool like You don't have to use them, but there's no need to automatically shut out the use of technology in a classroom. Being a civil person, being kind and compassionate and respectful, doesn't end when you go online. Digital citizenship is, is real. We need to talk about it.